So okay guys, welcome back to my channel Show Azudin. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell notification for any updates on my channel and like this video and also you can share this video if you can benefit other. So today my vlog is about this centostemon plant. So some of them is called golden panda. Why they call it golden panda? This is because as from a bit far you can see the flower. The color of the flowers is a bit gold this color but actually it's a yellow color. So this plant is a native from Australia, it's not native from Malaysia, but uh, we imported it. And this plant is, I strongly advise that if you're keeping or rearing a bee, this is the plant that you need to find because it contains a lot of nectars inside the flower. So as for me, I'm uh, rearing and still, uh, I'm rearing a stingless bee where actually it doesn't have any stings or uh, in the type of meliponi honey bees. So this is the plant that I plant for them. So actually it doesn't have any season and you need to only prune the flowers after the flowers uh, is not start to drop after the uh, needles. It's something like needles, a bloss, a bloom, it start finish to bloom. So you need to prune it. That is the only thing that you need to do and then after that you need to fertilize it to gain again flower. So it needs a lot of flowers. This plant I keep it around six years inside this pot and I always trim it because of that you can see the flowers are bushy. So it's very easy to uh, maintain these flowers and it's hardy and this I really really recommend and strongly advise you to get this kind of flowers if you're rearing a bees. So let's go and check the close-up of this flower. So, okay guys, so this is uh, my centostemon. So as you can see, there is a honey bees there. Start to collecting nectar. There, as you can see. So this is Apis cerana mellifera. So this is uh, stingless bees. Um, ah, forgot the name. Lepido trigona terminata. So and then as you can see, there is other moss. There is where else the type another type uh, 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 uh. there the flying one the small species there as you can see there is tetragonula fusco balteta so there is a uh, three type of bees here. So normally there is another one, uh, Genio Trigona Thoracica, if not mistaken. Right, so you can see there, Lepido Trigona Terminata, and the small one is Tetragonula Fusco Balteta. Right, so there's a honeybee there, Apis Cerana Melifera. So they really love this Santos demon. So they call it as golden panda, right? You need to buy this one and get one for your bees. So okay guys, so as you can see this flower contains a lot of nectar. So you can see there. So there's a lot of nectar inside there. So this definitely going to attract your bees to come here or any any the nearest distance bees come and take foraging and take the nectar. So you can see there is the nectar. And some of the nectar you can see here. It contains a lot of nectar until it drops to the to the leaf. You can see it. So there is the nectar and then there is another nectar. So there is a lot of nectar. There is again another one on the flower. So this plant is, I strongly advise you to get this plant. And you need to know that you need to keep on watering it. If you don't water it, so it doesn't have nectar inside it. So thanks again for watching my channel. See you again. Bye.